Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about data relaying in wireless sensor networks. Further, in detail, we are going to discuss about flooding, gossiping, rumor routing, sequential assignment routing, and directed diffusion methods. Data relaying in wireless sensor networks. Data dissemination is the process of routing queries or data through sensor nodes to intended recipient in sensor network. The sensor nodes gather data from different nodes and forward it to the fixed station or to other nodes for further processing. Event and sync node definition. The information collected from sensor nodes or to be reported to some other node is called as an event. A node which collects events is called as sync node. Data diffusion. Data diffusion uses two step process. They are interest propagation and data propagation. Here is a representation of interest propagation. Every sensor node broadcasts its interest, for example, temperature to other nodes. And the nodes which receive interest can maintain it in the interest catching. Here is a representation of initial gradient setup. Data propagation includes transmitting data from one node to another node by using shortest paths. Let us start discussing data relaying algorithms. The various algorithms used for data diffusion are given below. First algorithm is flooding. Second one is gossiping. Third one is rumor routing. Fourth is sequential assignment routing. And the fifth one is directed diffusion. Let us see these algorithms one by one. Flooding algorithm. Flooding is the process of broadcasting or injecting the packets in the network. Every node can broadcast its own information or the information received from other nodes. An advantage of this technique is that it does not require any specific routing algorithm. Some of the disadvantages of this technique are reception of duplicate messages, high network overhead, and minimized network lifetime due to repetitive transmission. Gossiping. Gossiping is the process of sending a packet to the randomly selected neighbor node. An advantage of this technique is that it leads to less network overhead due to forwarded nodes. However, selection of neighbor node to forward the packet may take long time. Since forwarder nodes forward the packet to a set of neighbors, there is no guarantee of reception of message by all nodes present in the network. Rumor routing. This is an agent-based routing algorithm. Packets in the form of agents or ants are disseminated among nodes to find out shortest paths to events. Agents can also perform path optimization. Sequential assignment routing. Sequential assignment routing selects a path with high energy sources. The algorithm generates more number of trees. The root of each tree is the one half neighbor of a sync node. Each tree 
can grow from the sink node. This algorithm removes the nodes which has high delay and low throughput. Some nodes may attach with more than one tree. Directed Diffusion In Directed Diffusion, sensor nodes generate request or queries and pass it to other sensor nodes. The sensor nodes which receive this request will send a reply for the query which had been received by the node. Directed Diffusion improves data diffusion by using the interest gradient of the sensor node. Each sensor node assigns one or more attribute to its data. Interest of a sensor node can be represented using attribute value pairs. For each path, gradient is assigned. Positive gradients allow data transmission along a particular path, whereas a negative gradient prevents data transmission along a specific path. Huge amount of data can be sent through higher gradient path. Data diffusion allows each node to catch its data. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. If you like this lecture means kindly share this video to your friends. For further updates kindly subscribe my channel. Thank you.